Moto Madness. All right, Ben. Pick a bike. I like the blue one. Yeah, I also <coughs> like the blue one. To be honest, like we already did the donkey, which is my favorite. We'll we'll take the piranha first, Ben. I just like that it's blue. <clears throat> <laughs> Same. <laughs> Do, do, do. This might actually be a decent speed for this course. See, the thing I can appreciate about the donkey is that it's gonna it would be like actually like the proper size for me. Like I feel like a normal size motorcycle would be ridiculous. It would absolutely be ridiculous, but I think there are different sizes that you can choose from. They they, they have different size motorcycles. I believe so. Yes. Yeah. I cannot for a second imagine Ben on the chopper. He's, he, he wouldn't even be able to like reach the ground to stabilize himself. The bike would be sideways. Babies versus Kawasaki. That so might work nice better. Be you might honestly be best off on a dirt bike. <clears throat> I feel like the usual speed limitation restriction by weight wouldn't apply to you as much. Oh god. <laughs> My cousins rode their bikes when they were like 12. Yeah. You could probably do it. <laughs> <laughs> the metric. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll finally fulfill my cross funk aesthetic instead of my Delray fuckboy aesthetic. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm working my way up in the world. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're skipping the license because, again, tutorial shit, it's dumb. Alright. This is the usual go to bike, which is why I'm not going to it. I want to. Green, green, green. Okay, we'll take the slowest bike in the game. <laughs> this will be interesting. What could possibly be the use of this bike? It's so okay. basically restrict you and make you go slow, and prevent you from doing dumb things like I do. Oh. Though it also makes it kind of unwieldy and slow, but you know, slow. And slow. <laughs> slow. Slow. Look at how slow. Oh. Why is it shaped weirdly? You're shaped weirdly. It's for girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll just take a fault on this one. Does it have that, like, dip in it? Or, like, a skirt? <laughs> you know that's why they have, like, men's and women's bicycles? Like, I feel like everybody's bicycle should be women's bicycles. It's like when if they want to wear a skirt and men, it's like they don't want to hit their balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah, just have a big open couple. Nailed it. What else they got for me? Is that it? Is that all they're gonna just hit me with the pipe? There it is. Okay. I was gonna say they're usually more dramatic than that. I heard that, like, the other style, though, is a little bit more structurally stable. Other style of... Bicycle. <coughs> ah. Probably. Yeah. But still. Like, how much stress are you putting your bike through on a daily basis? Unless you're doing it competitively, you're pretty much going at HD, right? Just I suppose. <laughs> True equality? Pro feminism. He's turning a bike show. <laughs> <laughs> It'll My be the most <laughs> successful chain of bike shops in the entire world. People are gonna get really excited about that until they say bicycle shop. <laughs> <laughs> What people? Like investors? <laughs> Are you doing like trials? <laughs> so you're like... Grandma. <laughs> ah. Like, I, I want to hear your free swinging ball pitch to someone. <laughs> Sometimes they hang a little. But first off, who rides bikes anymore? Oh, oh. I'll skip that one. Now I need to replay the level. Damn it. It was me, uh, everywhere I need to go from the ages of 13 <clears throat> to 19. 
So you're marketing this to children. I mean, if I'm starting a bicycle store, yes, yeah, so I'm mostly going to be selling to children. But I'm still going to sell them all women style. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. You get them early when your business grows. And you eventually <laughs> have a, an, an adult demographic. Because they grew up using one of those things. It's for the comfort. And the comfort exclu exclusively. We don't want Disney with uh, bicycles. So you need to rebrand them. You need to make them like unisex and come up with like a name like Comfort Bikes. <laughs> and that's how you'll market it. Even before someone who watches this video takes that idea. <laughs> you gotta market it to the hipsters. Wow, that's a pretty far back checkpoint. Kinda surprised. You gotta gain some momentum. You can probably sell them on the street in New York City. Nailed it. Are you gonna explode now? Is the car gonna explode? I don't know. I'm kind of waiting for it to happen. Yeah, come on. I think the car was supposed to explode, but I hit it too soft. Are you just gonna lay there dead and twitching? I, I, I was actually trying to twitch, it wasn't really playing that game. Yeah, I love how there are controls for twitching. Like, that's like a normal thing that like, it's isn't great, concerning. It's a great thing. It's like 30% of the game. I know, right? right? On the ground, twitching. You just get frustrated and you flail about. <laughs> Your dead, lifeless corpse ragdoll flails. It's delicious. For context, most of my saltiness is because you told me this was a real sport that people do. It is. With absolutely no context. <laughs> oh yeah. No, that makes it even better in your head, because then you think that this is like real life. This is a video. Look, people a do video all game. sorts of like stupid, oh, crazy shit. That's kind of just life. So, like, the concept of this being a real sport that people do is not that far-fetched to me. Where are the piranhas? Really? I was hoping. What, yeah, I, I, maybe I you haven't that. twitched enough. Maybe you should twitch more, Mike. Unfortunately, I don't think they let me if it's at the end. I have to fall off the bike sometime during the run. <clears throat> Are the controls intentionally for twitching, or are they, like, mapped to some, like, element of controlling the bike that they just happen to, like... I believe it's the gas and the brake. Yeah, it's like, flop. Oh. Yeah, really, really simple control scheme. So they didn't actually make controls for twitching. <laughs> you adapted controls. No. If you're no. using the bike, that allowed you to make yourself twitch when you fell off of it. You're the deviant here. Why is it not letting it work? Ah, whatever. Wee. The levels get way more interesting as we progress. Oh. This one is kind of fun, but I fucked that up pretty brutally, so let's try that one more time. And actually listen to the sign that tells us to stop. We Okay, let's try that again. I believe in you. Remember how you have to take your finger out No. Your advice is bad and you should feel bad. Remember the time I said that? You know, I'm gonna play through all of Super Meat Boy with you sitting here watching and you're not going to see me let go of sprint or a direction key one way or another. I'd be more interested to see you play through this game. Well, like, that's what why, I'm doing now. Why would they have a control for a break if they didn't want you to use it? Well, it's in the event that you use too much power. That way you can sort of just adjust and fall back down. If you're standing straight up, it's... Well, you'll see. The micro donkey's kind of notorious for it. Mike, please don't tell me you drive actual vehicles like this. Oh yeah, I drive my car like this all the time. Mike, how do you still have brakes? What do you mean? I never use them. <laughs> <laughs> what are brakes? I mean, 
they tell me that I'm supposed to get new pads for them or something, but then they look at them and they're like, well, these are brand... See, that's what I use my brakes for, right there. But you... Oh! No! Fuck that up. It's okay. There's a checkpoint right there. Sometimes you just can't recover. Ow. Are you fucking serious? They missed! I'm still here! Alright, we're good. Let's roll that up there. 